Okay. Uh, this is the approach that I utilize for the review of pregnancy uh, appendicitis cases on call. Um, we have a standard series of five sequences utilized for all cases. They are acquired in four, sorry, in three planes uh, for um, the four sequences that are the initial ones and then one coronal plane of diffusion. Uh, the sequences are uh, inversion recovery single shot T2, which is haste IR, uh, single shot T2, which is haste, uh, in and out of phase T1 flash images, which I only read the in phase images of because the out of phase images have the um, etching that can be problematic for the evaluation of the appendix. And we have um, steady state uh, true FISP images. We acquire those four sequences haste IR, haste, true FISP, and IO flash T1s in three orthogonal planes coronal, axial, and sagittal, and set them up on three monitors. The diffusion I open up independently, the coronal diffusion on the left monitor, and uh, leave it there as a large field of view. The nice advantage of all of this layout is that if you pick a particular monitor and orientation, you can scroll, and they will all scroll together. They're synchronized. Here's the axials. They're all synchronized. And the sagittals all synchronized. So once I've set everything up uh, manually, then I begin by looking at the Haste IR series by double clicking on it and making it a large field of view. I run through these very quickly just from front to back and the goal here is to find any bright fluid collection. Specifically I look right around the cecum which is here it's always dark or mixed signal and I look for bright fluid collections surrounding it. In this particular case there isn't any and I can tell you that from that fact alone, this is likely a negative study. It's certainly likely for negative for appendicitis. It may be completely negative, but this is the one crucial area that should be dark on this sequence. Um, here's terminal ileum, and I'm not seeing appendix yet, and, but it's not as visible on haste IR images. So now that I've reviewed those, I know that the study is likely going to be normal. If I want to specifically find the appendix, I come to the haste images without inversion recovery and fat suppression, and I roll through them in coronal plane first. I tend to find the appendix much more quickly on coronal images than I do on axial images. Here's the terminal ileum coming up right here, diving into the ileocecal valve here, so we know that this is the cecum here. And so we should have an appendix somewhere in this region. I'm not seeing one, so certainly it's, if we find it, it's not pathologic, it's normal. So what I'm going to do now is go through each one of the coronals again, because I prefer the coronal plane, and I'm looking specifically for the appendix. I don't see it there, so that also favors it being normal on the T1s. I don't see it there, so it also favors it being normal. This could potentially be a, a large one, but we'll come back and find it in a minute. So even reviewing just these four images, I can already say that it's likely going to be a negative study. What's nice confirmatory evidence is in the diffusion images, there is, again, no bright signal, large bright signal in the right lower quadrant. There is this bright signal here, which we'll come back and chase and make sure that that's not an appendix. So once I reviewed the coronal haste IRs, and I don't see any bright fluid collections around the cecum. I know the study is likely negative for appendicitis. I try to find the appendix in the coronal. If I can't, I'll come back through the sagittals or the axials and try to find the appendix so that I can say definitively that it's negative and I see it. And then I'll look for other causes of right lower quadrant pain or abdominal pain. The easiest ones, the most common ones, are obviously ruptured cysts and fluid collections in the pelvis, which are easily diagnosed by looking at the axial images. The other very common one is pyelonephritis or uh, obst obstructive uropathy related to the uh, gestational status of the patient. And so you can look at the kidneys very quickly, look for a symmetric signal to decide whether or not there is pyelonephritis uh, that can be subsegmental or even unilateral. It's very easy to see on the T2 weighted images without and with uh, fat suppression. Um, after I 
confirm that there's nothing in the pelvis, there's nothing in the perisecal region, and the kidneys look normal. I do a glance of everything in the abdomen quickly to look for cholecystitis, cholecystitis, or ascites or obstruction. It tends to be fairly straightforward on these inversion recovery coronal hastes to survey the abdomen very quickly and be finished. So in my opinion, this particular case is negative, and I would call it negative and move on.